Welcome to On the Edge with J.P. Divine from Central Maine Sunday. On the Edge with J.P. Divine Audio is sponsored by Sprague & Curtis Real Estate, the largest full-service real estate brokerage in Central Maine's capital region. Selling properties, helping people, getting it done. Visit their website at SpragueAndCurtis.com. Now here's J.P. Divine. Give me a hug, April 26th, 10.30 a.m. I need a hug, a rib-breaking hug that takes the breath away. Yes, of course she hugs me, not as much as she used to, and only when I make the first move. I need a kiss, too, like the one the sailor planted on the girl in Times Square. If you haven't seen that iconic shot, then Google it. I want to kiss her like that. But she's never been fond of... Pre breakfast makeouts. First, a hug. It goes like this I study the way her crazy hair falls over her eyes, push it back with one finger, and run that finger down her nose to her lips. She knows this move. I invented that move. It was my signature move in the late 50s. Ask Rosemary or Lauren. You asked my permission to use it on your she. You have it. It's the same move I, I made 60 years ago on our first kiss in the snow on 53rd in Lexington. So now she leans back, squints, and asks, what's the matter? I need a hug and a kiss. What did you do? I didn't do anything. I just want a hug and a kiss. You broke my porcelain rabbit from Tiffany's, didn't you? Tell me you didn't. I didn't break anything. By now she knows I'm serious. She's thinking maybe I'm having chest pains and I've only got a couple of minutes left. So I get the hug and one stiff lip kiss. Oh, is this the new normal? 11.30 a.m., standing in the doorway in full sun, filled with longing for yesterdays and dreams, any yesterdays, any dreams will do. When the Chinese apologize for their lab error and the Swiss labs announce the discovery of the vaccine, I want to jump in the car and make the rounds. I want to leave the house, leave behind pajamas and pants and sweats, sneakers and clean socks. I want to run up to Starbucks and hug all the baristas at the newly reopened shop, help put out the iconic green umbrellas and impossibly hard chairs. Then to the market, where I want to push a basket down the aisle, the wine aisle, stop in front of a woman, any woman, smile and ask, give me a hug. Okay, so I'll be arrested. That's okay. On Saturday, when it's at its peak crowded moment, I need to trot down the aisle at Mar- Target and TJ Maxx, bump into old people like myself, kids in T-shirts and torn jeans, all hugging one another, smiling at babies, tossing stuff in the baskets. I want to touch sleeves and smell passing colognes. I want to stop folks in the parking lot who are smiling and waving at me because they're my readers and they tell me all the time that I make them laugh. I need to take their hands and shake each finger. Not one of those perfunctory handshakes like you might get from a car salesman, but a Tom Hanks shake like the one he gave everybody in the airport in the 2000 movie The Terminal. Full and furious, a tooth-rattling handshake. I will park on Main Street in downtown Waterville and buy a new fun clock and hug Nancy. Nancy, the owner at the Paragon Shop. I long to have a salad outside the last unicorn and watch the millennials wheel their baby carriages by as I sip my luncheon martini. I want to eat a burrito at Buen Appetito and fries at the proper pig while I watch them tear the last of the wrapping paper off of the new boutique Lockwood Hotel. Tomorrow, I want to have liver and onions at Eric's up on College Avenue. And Thursday, I'll go back to Eric's and have their pea soup. The best pea soup in America. I dream of having a big plate of the beer-battered shrimp at the Liberal Cup in Hollowell, a bowl of minstroni with breadsticks, and a big Arnold Palmer at the garden, the Olive Garden. She, 
who loves the eggplant lasagna there, always wanted to go midweek to avoid the crowds. Avoid the crowds? Why would we want to avoid the crowds? We need crowds at this moment, more than ever, big crowds. On my birthday this year, my doctor finishes his afternoon racquetball game and calls me to tell me to come over and get my second backup anti-COVID-19 vaccine shot. I will find the most crowded place I can, like Trader Joe's in Portland, or Friday night bar at Margarita's in Augusta, where I will share a large martini with my friend Joe, and we'll sip from the same glass. And the worst thing that could happen to us is that we'll get a cold, and maybe a fever blister. Does the COVID-19 vaccination cover fever blisters? Never mind, just give me a hug. Thanks for listening to On the Edge with J.P. Devine from Central Maine Sunday. On the Edge with J.P. Devine is sponsored by Sprague & Curtis Real Estate, the largest full-service real estate brokerage in Central Maine's capital region. Selling properties, helping people, getting it done. Visit their website at SpragueAndCurtis.com. Make sure you pick up Central Maine Sunday this week wherever newspapers are sold and visit our website at CentralMaine.com.